Friday, March 24th. Meeting up with some friends for lunch to do some lunchtime sketching. I'm here at Five Guys. This is Brian, of course. You're probably tired of seeing him. <laughs> this is Bill. He's my twin. <laughs> I don't know if it's twin or if we're like Bill clones or something like that. So what were you just saying? Uh, so yeah, I started um, working on a, just a fun little personal project of animating a scene. Um, I recently boarded for a project and um, it was just going to be uh, a girl jumps out of a plane because that's why I had boarded. But then Will um, said, hey, I like this character. You should do some more sketches of her, you know, develop her character more. So I took that as a challenge and I was like, all right. <laughs> All right, well, I'll show you. <laughs> so I started uh, on my on my on my Twitch stream. That's where I've been working on it all. What's your Twitch stream? Twitch.tv slash Bill Drastel. I've been streaming the process of it, and yeah, it's like okay. Well, first I was just gonna draw this character. I just wanted a design just to have to animate to. Yeah. And now it's like okay. Well, who's this character? I did a whole bunch of redesigns. Okay, made her hair work better, and all these different you know aspects of just the design. And now do you, it's do like, you have any on your beard? Um, I um, I do in fact. So this is the original sketch. Oh. That you commented on. Yeah. What was my comment? Your comment was, hey, I really like this design. Um, you know, you should do some more expressions, you know, draw some more versions of her. And so yeah, I, I responded with challenge accepted. Yeah. I started doing a bunch of, um, just some, some different expressions, you know, I think she would make. Yeah. Um, you know, trying to think about a character and that just led to more questions because now it's like, okay, well, what expressions would she make? How would this character react? I'm not just gonna, you know, there's your standard emotions like happy, sad, angry, but it's like, okay, but how does she, how does she get angry? Yeah. How does she get sad? I think that was the question. I was like, yeah, how, like, how does this character look when she's angry? It required me to think more about this character than I originally was wanting right, to. Right. <laughs> that was why I asked the question. That's why, well, damn you and your questions. <laughs> um, I think that that's, that's like the crucial ingredient to really pushing character designs is not just doing a happy face or a sad face, mm -hmm. like, oh look, I can draw emotions. That's not the interesting thing with character design. What's yeah. interesting is how does this character look when she's mad? Is she like always happy? Even when she's mad, she's trying to like stuff it down. Well, that le and, and, and that just has and, branched into now, I gotta think of, um, because it's like, okay, well, if I'm gonna find, figure out how how she reacts and, why, and how she does that, well, why is she doing that? Well, now I gotta get into her story. Who is she? What's going on with her? And so now it's kind of blown up. Like, okay, now I, I had, I can't. I gave her like uh, I worked with a writer friend on Facebook, and, and you know, with some family and friends, we came up with a name for the character. And now it's like, okay, well, what kind of character is she? And it's now blowing up. And now, um, now, if you want another exercise kind of thing, what is the complete opposite of that character? Oh my goodness! And design that character to be yeah. her sort of foil to go off of. Is it, you know, it's somebody that's always angry, even when they're happy. Yeah, yeah. And so, how do you how do you design that character? And then, also thinking like, make her the, make that other character the complete opposite in every way. So, like the opposite way that this character like poses and the, the body shape, the, you know. Some the, of the physical man mannerisms, every, yeah. Every aspect of it, draw the complete opposite and make that design interesting. Uh, and then see how that character plays against her. Right, right. And that's a good experiment to like push your push your storytelling, push your design sense. Starting on this project from just like the ground up, it's you know it's really it's re-cementing the idea like oh everything builds upon everything else. Oh yeah, you yeah. Know. Now, do you think you were thinking about that before? Not at all, because all I, like I said, all I really want to do is just, I'm just going to animate a character <laughs> based on the sequence I storyboarded. <laughs> okay, so now that you're doing it this way, do you see a difference? Well, there's a big difference in now that I'm, uh, it's more, it's, it's, what, uh, the difference that I'm noticing is that I'm putting more effort as far as, like, more thought into it. So I'm not just quickly sketching out a character. Which I usually like to do because I like to do a lot of gesture yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. Um, and plus it works for storyboarding. But as far as like coming with a character, it's like, you know, I gotta sit down, slow down, right. think about what I'm drawing. Um, now, do, are, you noticing, it. are you noticing a uh, that people's response to your character designs are different now with this kind a of thing? A little bit, yeah. I mean, not, mostly because, because I am putting more and more effort and work into them. Um, um, but there's, I don't know, just like, 
yeah, people have been showing a lot more interest in it. Uh, people have been getting more excited about it. Um, and the Do you stream design. at like a set time each day? Um, lately, I've been streaming right around 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific time every every day, right. mostly every day. Uh, this week's worked out perfectly for that. That's good. <laughs> Y'all can follow along with Bill and see his progress with developing this character and story and stuff. Yeah, right? this guy, this guy, this guy helped out. Uh, pointing out some some things that you know turn around because I had originally the shot I developed was the character leaves from the plane and the character the camera was static um, and then I discovered I could use the camera tool in Adobe Animate that I was working in I could zoom in on it. that made the shot much more dynamic but then he said because then it cuts and then you and your suggestions you and his damn <laughs> suggestions we got to keep Bill busy this was this was the first the first iteration. She leaps from, and then it cuts, and then she pulls her parachute, and then it would go on to the next scene. Yeah. He said, no, 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 keep that shot on her the whole time. And I hadn't thought about that. I had some more scenes to it, and now this is what it looks like. Made a huge difference. It's now, it now looks immensely better. So it's, it's those little things you don't think about. That's right. It was a good lunch, everybody. Delicious. He tall. Look at this. I know. Look how tall he is. <laughs>actually been really it was really slow this week at work which is nice <laughs> let's see what is today day 31 about a third of the way through this week was I mean clearly I didn't post videos the last couple days this was not the last few days have been unproductive uh, as far as making comics goes <clears throat> I am disappointed to say, for some reason, I struggle more with rewriting than I do with actually writing a story, which is saying a lot because I struggle a lot with writing a story. <laughs> but yeah, whenever I get notes, this happened when I was taking the class before with Jim, we got to this point in the class where I did my pitch and then like we went to script and I did my first script pitch. And then I got notes back from everybody, and they were really helpful notes, and they made complete and total sense. And then I get stuck on like actually applying the edits and the notes to to the new pages and updating. I don't know why that why that's such a struggle, but it is. So like the last two nights, and then most of tonight, like I've sat down, I've drawn, I basically just keep reworking the same three or four pages over and over. Let's just say I'm struggling a little bit. <laughs> but that's to be expected, right? You know, like anytime you decide you're going to do something creatively, there's going to be a struggle. If you're not struggling, then it means you're not trying. And it's uh, usually you don't want to feel that. You want to feel anything but that. You want to avoid it. And that's why you go get on the internet or watch TV or Netflix or play video games or whatever, drink, whatever vice you have. We're all avoidaholics here. <laughs> My name is Will Terrell. I'm an avoidaholic. I really enjoyed hanging out with Brian and Bill at lunch today. It's always nice hanging out with friends. I love sitting, sketching with people, talking story. Uh, it was cool to hear Bill mention, you know, in the video that um, uh, I had seen a sketch of his and I posted a comment saying I really liked the sketch and, you know, you should do some more facial expressions. But like, what would this character's emotions look like? Not just some typical, you know, like this is a happy face. This is a sad face. Like that's that's boring. You're just demonstrating that you can do emotions but not actually acting you know acting is when a character uh is, wants to say something but they can't say it because it's just not in them uh like where did i i heard heard it from it was 
uh, Michael Caine, the actor Michael Caine, I remember seeing him talk once where he said um, that one of his very first acting roles, he was disappointed because he didn't have any speaking parts. And he um, he almost quit the job because he's like, this isn't this isn't going to help my career. And then he asked one of his mentors for advice. And the mentor said, well, what would you say in the scene if you had lines, you know, and what is the most interesting, interesting thing that this character could say in this scene? Write that down and then don't say it. <laughs> And that way, you know, the, when the character comes into the scene, he's thinking something. He's you. There's something going on behind the scenes. Even if he never opens his mouth, there's something going on. And that's what makes a character more interesting than if they just look cool, look tough, look scared, look angry. You know, that's not interesting. It's when they're thinking. So I was glad to see that that was helpful for Bill. And uh, it was definitely fun talking to him and Brian. Brian is like a genius at doing storyboarding. Like every time I've tried doing storyboards, he just looks over the show over my shoulder and he's like, well, why don't you try this? Why are you doing that? And it's like, oh, it makes perfect sense. But I guess that's what happens when you've been doing it for five or six years. <laughs> so yeah, you should follow Bill if you're interested in following his progress on doing this animated short. Uh, and I'll put the link to his Twitch and uh, I guess Instagram or something in the description. As for me, I'm a little disappointed in myself. Uh, I feel like I can do a lot better than what I did this week. And that's okay, because there's 70 more days in this 100 days of making comics, and I can get a lot done in that time. Honestly, I could probably do a page a day. It's figuring out the story that I get stuck on. This one... I mean, I like it. I like it. I feel it. There's something on the right track. I can feel it. It gives me emotions. <laughs> and I'm excited because towards the end of this 100 Days of Making Comics, I get to go to my hometown and there's a comic book show run by people that are not me that in my hometown, which is exciting. And I can have a new book to sell in put it online, put it on our store. And uh, I'm thinking of having a sale, like an online sale, because I've got a bunch of books that I haven't put on my online store since they were printed, you know, like a year ago, two years ago. So I've got lots to sell. <clears throat> and um, I think I'm just rambling now. So I'm going to call it a night. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Keep smiling.